hello everyone and welcome back to a new series in this we are going to cover docker from very beginner level to an advanced level okay so if you are new to this you can watch this and if even if you have some experience working with docker then also you can watch it and this is going to be useful for all the developers out there so if you are one of them then make sure you watch this okay and if you find this video helpful then please make sure to like this video and also make sure to subscribe to the channel and i would really appreciate that so enough with the talk let's actually get started with this part one so here we are basically going to discover what docker is okay what's its use and how we can basically start working with it so when we first hear about docker when we first hear about docker then we basically think about these two questions and let me tell you what they are the first one is what is docker this is the first question that comes to our mind when we first hear about docker and the second question that is very obvious is why we really want to use docker or what's its purpose so we are going to answer that in this video so make sure you watch till the end now let me actually start tackling with the second question why do we want to use docker okay and to basically explain this i'm going to take an example okay a real world example that i'm sure you must have basically faced at least once in your lifetime so you must have tried to basically install any piece of software on your computer okay and let me tell you or remind you what is the process that we usually follow we first download the installer okay and after that we just run the installer okay after it is done downloading then and at some point we must have faced some error during the installation process okay this is the experience that we all have okay now what we do after this we will just troubleshoot the error okay it might be due to some you know environment configuration like it needs some program to run it successfully let's say it requires python version 2 but we have python version 3 in our system okay so that may be the problem or there can be some hardware issues okay like there is not enough memory after we do troubleshooting we are basically going to rerun this installer okay and after we run this again okay we'll be facing two conditions here okay there will be another error okay or there will be no error so in case there is any error we'll have to basically go through this process again troubleshoot the error we run the installer until unless there is no error okay and at the end we'll have the program or basically the piece of software successfully installed and running now this is a very tedious process okay and the main issue here is that we are facing these kinds of problem because of some environment configurations or some dependency configuration okay that are not accurate as per the software that we are trying to install and run so this is the core problem that the docker is trying to fix okay this is what the docker intends to fix now since we have understood the problem statement now we we are ready to basically answer what is docker so in simple words we can say that docker is a piece of software okay and its main purpose is to basically make things simple for us to install and run any new piece of software without having to configure environment and dependencies for that okay so this is a very basic definition of docker and i have explained it in the simplest words possible now after we are done with this let's actually start tackling our very first question and that is what is basically docker now when someone says that yeah they have used docker in their previous projects or they are familiar with docker okay then they might be talking about various services or basically softwares that you can say that docker has to provide so docker is not just a single service it's a collection of multiple services okay and we basically call it docker ecosystem so let me introduce what they are these are docker server okay docker machine docker images docker client docker compose and docker hub okay so all these three so all these six things makes up docker ecosystem 
so we can simply define docker as a platform or basically an ecosystem of various services which is built around creating and running containers now when i say containers you might be confused like what is this container if you haven't heard this term before okay so let me answer that so what is basically going to happen let's say we are trying to install a new piece of software let me explain it to you with an example we are trying to install redis here okay and i will be pasting this link in the description box you can find it and please try to follow this process on your own computer okay so we just have to run this commands okay in sequence in order to successfully install and run redis on our local machine so let me actually start doing this so i have opened up my terminal okay i'm just going to paste that command here and as you can see while i was trying to install a new piece of software i have got this error okay so this is just a simple problem we have to get this wget okay and after that we can rerun this command okay and move on with our process but that is the whole point what i'm trying to explain you like we started to install some new piece of software and then we ran into some error due to some environment or some dependency misconfiguration okay that is basically what docker will do for us so in case you have docker installed on your local machine then you just have to simply write docker run okay and then i'll write this hyphen i and t that means install and then execute it and then the name of the image that i'm trying to basically install and run okay so let's run it now you can see that we have our redis server up and running within milliseconds okay so this is much more comfortable than doing all of this okay that is written here so that is what docker is trying to do for us so what we just did the name that we specified here redis it's an image image is basically a single file with all the configuration of environment and dependencies so docker just issued a command to something okay which we have installed that i'm going to explain it to you shortly and then it pulled an image from the docker hub okay which is running on a remote server and then it basically installed it on our local machine along with all the dependencies and then it executed it okay and we have our ready server up and running so this is very easy okay let's now get back here so what is an image image is a single file with all the configurations and dependencies okay which is basically required to run a software now from a single image we can basically create multiple instances of it which we are going to call container okay so here is the answer of what is a container container is an instance of image and then what is image image is a single file with all the required dependencies and environment configured okay and container is an instance of an image and what we are basically running we pull up the image from the docker hub okay or from our local machine then we create a container or basically a closed environment in which the program is going to run okay then we just execute this okay and we have our up and running software so now this is done after that we just have to basically get prepared to run docker commands on our local machine so for that we are going to need docker for our operating system okay so doesn't matter if you are working on windows mac or linux okay or any other operating system okay these are widely used so i have mentioned those here i'm going to explain you what we are basically going to do here you just need to visit docker.com okay and then you need to install docker for your machine okay based on your operating system you will be installing it okay just install that okay run it run the installer okay after that is done you will need to basically create an account on docker and log in with that and that's it you will have docker installed on your local machine but let's now actually understand what that docker software that we are trying to install is going to do for us okay and how it's structured so it is basically divided into two parts the first one is docker client okay and what is a docker client docker client can be termed as the gui or the cli that means the graphical user interface or the command line interface that we will use to basically issue commands okay let me show you 
we just typed a docker command here okay and that is because we have docker installed on our local machine okay and you can see here docker is running successfully right and there is also a graphical user interface okay let me show it to you as you can see here i have docker up and running here okay and i have created these two containers one is exited okay and one is running the gui or the cli that is called the docker client okay and the other part that is basically pulling up the image from the docker hub okay and which is basically responsible for creating all the images and then creating containers and managing their life cycle that is the main core of the docker software that we have installed okay and that is called docker server let's now actually see this what we can define docker client as so docker client is basically is a gui or a cli that is used to issue commands to the docker server okay we cannot directly interact with the docker server okay so there is a top layer above that which is known as docker client and what is docker server docker server is responsible for creating images okay creating container out of images pulling images from the server okay and managing the life cycle of our containers so this is a very basic introduction to docker okay now after this let's just see how we can install docker on our local machine so the first step is to basically go to docker.com okay then create an account for yourself after that you can just basically download the installer file okay and run it on your operating system okay then the third step will be to just when the installation process is done just log in to the docker software that you installed right now and then you can and then you can see at the last step that you have successfully installed docker okay so this is the basic introduction of docker in the next part we'll start using docker on our local machine i'll introduce you with some basic commands okay so thanks for watching this video i really appreciate that okay that you watched it till the end and please also make sure to subscribe to the channel and also like this video and don't forget to post your comment and in case you have any doubts okay then you can just join our discord channel i am going to paste its link in the description box that's it for this video i'll see you in the next one